No, I, I, it wasn't always in the back of my mind to play Obi Wan Kenobi again. I think if you'd asked me after we finished Episode Three, you know, in two, when we shot it in two thousand and three, if I would do it again, I would probably most definitely have said no, just because the films were so difficult to make. The, the technology was, um, George was like pushing into the, he he was pioneering digital cameras and visual effects to this to the point where, you know, he wanted to to. Uh, exercise that as much as he could, which meant he was creating more and more of the backgrounds in post-production, which meant for us, we were working more and more on just blue screens, blue set stages, green stages. There was just nothing, you know, my memory of episode two and three is really vague because there was nothing there. You know, I spent most of episode two running around on my own where I discover the clone armies and being built and stuff with these tall aliens. And I I just spent weeks walking around on a blue stage, speaking to a tennis ball on a stick. And it's really hard work. It's not really anything like what I'd been doing to that point or since, I guess. So it was really hard work. And um, and also they weren't, they weren't received very well when they came out. So I think if you'd asked me then, I would have said, no, I've, I've put in my, I've done my, I've done my part for, with the star. And I was really happy to be part of the Star Wars world and its legend. I really mean that. I, I was very privileged to be able to do that and have this link between me and such a great actor as um, Alec Guinness. Then I guess what happened was I kept getting asked in interviews, would I do it again? Would I do it again? And there was a period of time where every interview I did ended with the same two questions. Would you do the sequel to Train Spotting, and would you play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? And I started thinking about it and I started thinking, well, there must be actually a good story to tell between episode three and four. And I also started feeling this warmth for the films that we made from the people we made them for, the young people who loved the films when they came out. We didn't really hear their voice at the time, you know, because there was no social media or anything. We just heard the critics' voice, and the critics were pretty negative about them. But the, the warmth that I've realized there is for those original films started to make its way to me, and I felt good about it. And I thought, well... Actually, as an acting challenge to play the young Alec Guinness again, but not quite so young this time, I'd be, would be interesting and in a very different place, you know, to the character to be in a very different, broken, faithless place would be a kind of cool exercise.